Measure Mix. Today I'm going to take a little bit of a break from Christmas DIYs to make over my guest bathroom. We moved into our home about four years ago when my son was four and he wanted to decorate his room in his bathroom as Star Wars so that is what we did and now he's going to be turning eight and he doesn't care about Star Wars anymore and he doesn't care about what his bathroom looks like. So I'm going to take that opportunity to go ahead and redecorate and make over this guest bathroom. Now this video is in collaboration with Traz over at Traz's Treasures. We are both going to be doing an around the house DIY. She is fairly new to YouTube so go over to her channel, check out her video for this collaboration, check out her channel, she does Dollar Tree DIYs and budget friendly DIYs. Show her some love and support and let her know that I sent you. Now if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. All right, let's get started on this makeover. All right, the first thing I'm gonna be doing to this bathroom is putting some beadboard on the walls. I got this beadboard from Home Depot. I got two sheets of it to cover the whole bathroom. This wall is the first wall I'm gonna be starting on. It is opposite the toilet. It is a just straight wall and blank has nothing on it. So I'm gonna take the first piece of beadboard and apply some liquid nails to the back of it all over. Then I'm just going to go ahead and stick it on the wall, just making sure that it is even up against the tile and then it's even up against the baseboard. Then I just went ahead with my nail gun and nailed it into the wall. Now, since one piece of beadboard isn't long enough to cover the whole wall, I'm gonna go ahead and measure from the doorway to the piece of beadboard that I did put up and cut the other piece of beadboard to that size with my jigsaw. Then I just applied some liquid nails and applied it to the wall, making sure the seams line up and nailed it in. Now, on the opposite side of the wall, I'm gonna be putting some beadboard behind the toilet. So I need to measure the width of what my beadboard is going to be by measuring underneath that countertop piece there where the cabinet is all the way to the tile. Then on the right upper side of the beadboard, I'm gonna cut a notch out for that countertop. And then on the bottom left hand side of the beadboard, I'm gonna cut a notch out for the water line that goes from the toilet into the wall. So I'm just measuring um, appropriately so that way I can cut my notches out. And then I'm gonna take it out to the garage and I'm gonna use my jigsaw again to cut the beadboard to the width I need and then cut my notches out. So I do have to tell you this, I did make a mistake and I had to go get more beadboard, I had to go get another sheet because I cut my beadboard too short before. So I went and got another piece of beadboard and did it right the second time, but always measure twice, cut once. So anyways, the second time is the charm. I just slid the beadboard back behind the toilet and the notches fit perfectly. And then I just nailed the beadboard up to the wall. I didn't use liquid nails on this because it was just gonna be too messy. Now to finish off the top of the beadboard, I have this molding from Home Depot and it just sits on top of the beadboard and I'm just going to nail it into the wall with my nail gun. Now I'm gonna use this Painter's Latex Caulk to go ahead and fill all of the gaps in between the tile and the beadboard and then also um, the molding and fill all the nail holes up. And then I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes and I came back with some white semi-gloss paint and I gave the beadboard and the molding two coats of that paint. Now for behind the toilet, it was a little difficult to paint because I should have painted the beadboard before I applied it to the wall. That would have made life a little bit easier, but this worked out in the end, so no big deal. Next, it was time to paint the walls. So I picked up this can of Rust-Oleum Simply Home Interior paint in the color Dove Gray, 
and I've never used this um, interior paint by Rust-Oleum before and I was pleasantly surprised it gave pretty good coverage let me know down in the comments below if you've ever used this before I picked it up at Meyer for around $20 so now I have here a 1x4 board and two 1x6 boards that were just pieces of scrap wood out in my garage and I'm giving them a coat of white linen chalk paint. With the two 1x6 boards, I'm going to be making shelves to hang on the wall above the toilet. I'm going to be using L brackets as my shelf brackets. Um, they come in a pack of four. I just got them from Home Depot because my shelves are not as wide as regular shelves. So the L brackets are a little bit smaller and will hold the shelves a little bit better onto the wall. So I just um, measured where my shelf needed to be and I used anchors on the wall to screw in my L brackets. And then I just screwed the wood into the L bracket from the bottom. With the 1x4 board I painted and four of these hooks I got off of Amazon, I am going to be making a towel holder. So I just screwed the hooks into the 1x4 board and then I'm going to hang this board on the wall. I just drilled two holes on each side of the 1x4 and then I'm just going to place it on the wall and drill into those holes to make my holes for the wall and use some anchors and then screw the towel holder onto the wall. Lastly, it's time to decorate and add the finishing touches to this bathroom. I think everything came out so beautifully. It was definitely how I envisioned it and it matches my house so much better now and my son actually really likes it too. So I think it is perfect and I'm so happy that I was able to give this bathroom a makeover. Here's a look at the before. And here is the after. What a difference. I really love how my guest bathroom turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much to Traz for collaborating with me on this video. Check out her video with the link down below in the description box and show her some love and support. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with someone you know and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye bye.